fun in Altmark with Jesus' New Covenant. Uh, just enjoying my day off today and uh, having a cup of coffee in any event. I've uh, kind of spent the last two, three weeks trying to infiltrate some various groups. I've got one group called Law and Grace that I've been posting in, sharing some of uh, my various content. And as well, uh, there's been uh, some King James type groups that I've tried to infiltrate. In any event, I wanted to bring up one for you today. Let's see here if I can't uh, get this here on my phone uh, where you can see it. Uh, so this is a King James Bible rightly divided dispensation of grace group. It's got 12,000 members. And so in any event, I know uh, a number of you all even here in the group uh, are in uh, are in this group in any event again you know on my in my group I try to teach you about uh, various things uh, as it relates to King James only us and stuff but in any event again as you look back to this these are their key words is going to be King James Bible I actually got kicked out of a group a new covenant guy um, there's even one in the freedom in Christ group that left this group doesn't uh, you know, won't interact with me because uh, I believe that you can read another translation. <laughs> Again, this stuff is just so amazing. But if you're not using the King James Bible uh, and you don't believe that's the only true inspired translation, again, the tr what's, what's inspired was the original manuscripts of which we have 6,000 now copies of those manuscripts. And we can look into each of these to kind of, uh, see, you know, they're very much variant, uh, but in any event, I use a New American Standard, guys, and it's a great Bible. It's just as good as a King James. I'm not bashing the King James, um, but again, when you come back to this sort of stuff, I'm just wanting you to see, you know, they'll say King James Bible, and they'll be big black and white on that. Uh, there you see another keyword, rightly divided. We rightly divide. They use that one use of rightly divided where Paul's talking about how to handle accurately what happened in our death, burial, and resurrection is actually a life that is consistent with our state of righteousness and holiness in him. Uh, but they use that then to come up with their seven or eight dispensations. And then they, they, they use that word as well, dispensation. You'll see the chart up there, times and dispensations. And so, uh, I've got an incoming note, that's funny. Uh, but in any event, so there, and then as well, see, dispensation of grace. Oh, those old covenant saints there in the book, of, uh, the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11. Those heroes of the faith that all uh, are, in, are uh, in paradise right now because by faith they believed what God was saying. Oh, no, no, they're saved by a different way. Oh, they're not saved by grace through faith. No, no, no. They had to keep the law. You know, again, they see there's all these things. But anyway, I just wanted you to see this, this group here, 12,000 folks. So you see there, there I have a pending post in there and uh, it says I can manage these posts. Well, let's go in there. Let's see, you know, again, uh, Mark. Oh, Mark with Jesus' new covenant. Ooh, evil, wicked guy, that guy. Oh, nasty guy. Well, let's look here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. What's been? Uh, this is my pending post. This is my teaching last night on once alive, always alive. That's still in pending mode. You know what's going to happen to that post? It's going to be declined. You know how I know? Well, let's see here. Let's continue on. So that post will be declined. Well, let's see what else here. Oh, here's another post that got declined. Let's see what that is. As a saint in Christ, you are fully, absolutely, perfectly, utterly, completely, irreversibly, and permanently justified, sanctified, saved, and secure and alive in him. Mark with Jesus' new covenant. Declined. Let's see another post here. The law is holy, righteous, and good, yet it was sin that would, that took away uh, took opportunity through the commandment to deceive and cause spiritual death from this came everyone's license to sin each became the chief of sinners at that point none is righteous not even one it wasn't 
uh, isn't the grace of God that caused causes this. Rather, it was the Jew under the law that, and it goes on, this post, declined. Let's see, I had a few more up there. There's seven, there's seven of these in total. Let's see, the next one. As a saint, you died to sin. You are now raised up in his newness of life as one freed from sin. You are now alive to God, having been freed from sin, and now a slave of his righteousness. Goes on and on. Declined. Another post. It's good news because it's of his doing. It's called finished because he paid it in full. He began our salvation. He completes it. Completes it. The Spirit guarantees this reality. Decline. Here's another one. Being forgiven is a past tense reality. God removed you from sin and your sins as far as the east is from the west. He remembers sin, sins no more. Throughout the new covenant, sin, sins are taken away and expressed as past tense. Decline. See all these evil, wicked posts? Boy, those aren't allowed. Here's another one. Um, it's all about Jesus. It's all about what Christ accomplished for us. It's not about our performance or doing to do a list of things. It's about a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's about the finished work of the cross. It's all about Jesus, period. Decline. You can see the good news of mercy, forgiveness, and grace, life in Psalms 30, verse 5. Decline. Uh, God wasn't desiring sacrifice and offerings like those of the lamb but you have prepared a body for me in jesus love uh, in jesus's love he gave himself up for us the as the offering and the sacrifice to god as a fragrant aroma on our behalf decline all of that guys Folks that believe in the King James Bible being rightly divided and the dispensation of grace, they oppose these shares. I just, again, I, I just find it fascinating. So in any event, I just thought I'd come in and let you see uh, what, uh, you know, again, people sometimes are like, oh, you know, Mark, of Jesus, New Covenant and that group, you know, they're very closed minded. They're very narrow minded. It's like. Man, you would think that folks would be pretty excited to hear uh, those particular truths to be shared uh, freely in a group. But no, that kind of stuff gets declined and rejected. So in any event, if you're in those groups, pretty legalistic, pretty law-centered, um, a different gospel. All right. Mark with Jesus' new covenant. Have a good day.